I don't really know what specifically motivates me to want to push more. Uh, I think it's when you break through uh, that point in yourself that uh, you find out you can do more. Uh, then you, then you like, there's some trigger that says, okay, I can do this, then I can probably do that more. So it's like you always find new limits, and and uh, it mot motivates me to uh, push myself to do something I'm a little bit afraid of. Always. My name is Omar. I am 42, a husband with three boys and a dog. I work uh, as a firefighter and EMT here in Reykjavik Capital District Fire and Rescue, which is Icelandic is just Slökkulið Höfuborgarsæsins. So this is, uh, we have all the capital area, it's four stations, so we work different shifts on each station. I've uh, been in this work since 2015, so seven years. I want to be useful to begin with, and I can't do like one thing, I have to do a lot of things. And being a firefighter and EMT in, in this kind of job, it's a big pro to uh, be able to jump from one thing to another. And you never stagnate, there's always something new, always new challenges, and, and I like that. And you have to be physically fit, which is a plus, because I have to be fit for the job. And I think this job complements a lot of my strengths and it's in alignment with a lot of my values. So I think this job is something I can prosper in for many years. Firefighting in Iceland is probably different from other areas in some ways, mostly because of the environment. We have very active land. We have earthquakes and eruptions and stuff like that. But then we have all kinds of extreme weathers and we have to take care of rescue diving in the ocean and everything. We go with the Coast Guard uh, all over like if there's a fire on a ship or something. Then we have to uh, be able to rescue people in the mountains. So we have a mountain truck and a six wheel bike. But our main challenge here is in, in the capital area also have the ambulance work uh, and it like, just gets more and more busy all the time and it takes a lot of our time from training and, and preparing for a firefighter part. And we need to consider where we are because we're an island and uh, we just rely on ourselves with the Coast Guard and police. We work a lot together and we train together. So we just make everything work together, I think. Firefighters, there's two things they hate. It's things the way they are and, and changes. So that's not the way I think. I always feel I need to take one step further and do one more thing. So I try to welcome changes. And if I can help build a better community here at work, I always step forward if I can. If they want volunteers for something or they need trainers for something, I always step up. Because the best teacher is for yourself is teaching others. Because uh, if, you, if you get some knowledge and, and just sit on it, it just doesn't help anybody. So if, if I feel I can help out in some way to get, make this workplace better and other people around me, I, I really jump on every opportunity I can to teach. And I, I, I always look for something new and new ideas on the internet and everything. So we introduced through me the Flame Trainer, which is a VR trainer for firefighters. And now I'm introducing like modus tools and everything to our team. And if I have more free time, just more ideas pop up and I need to do more stuff like, you know, like I do the events. When I started here, I heard about the World Police and Fire Games. So I went to LA in 2017 to compete there. Uh, so 2018 and 19, we, we did a, like a firefighter contest for the fire departments in Iceland. So I thought that we should join more with the other responders that we work with, like the Coast Guard and police, and of course the ambulance and fire department. We work together a lot in the field. I thought maybe we should have like our own kind of World Police and Fire Games. 
So uh, I met with some guys I know from the police and the Coast Guard, and they liked the idea because they have their smaller events as well, and we just decided to go for it. It was everything I expected and more. I think uh, uh, the atmosphere was good, everybody was positive, we got to know each other better, and uh, there was a little bit positive competition between like police and firefighters always, so they want to win the firefighter contest, so they had some guys trained for that, and it went really well. It's gonna be every year from now on if I, if I can help. The only resource you, can, you, you have limited off is time, so I, I try to use the time as much as I can to do something proactive. Work takes, uh, takes a lot of time, and family takes a lot of time, but uh, you always need your own space as well. When I started with my wife, I was doing 10 different things at least, so at that point, it was like a moment for me realizing that I was gonna be the uh, old guy in the family party with no family who was just always doing stuff. Uh, I didn't want to be that guy. So I had to like reassess my values and like implement more like family values. So I always try to have the family first. So I, I try to have as much time for them as I can. And if I have free time, which is not very much, there's endless things I want to do. But there are times when I'm burning out and, and like feeling overwhelmed. So whenever I find I have some space, I try to work out, either by just go running or lifting or swimming or whatever, just try to get physical. Also, if, if I'm very stressed and, and everything's like overwhelming, I, I just need to get out of my head and into my body. I'm always busy with like work and family and everything, but I always have some ideas growing in my subconscious that I have to work on. It's not kind of a balance, it's more like chaos between orders. I mean, I think you have to have like a yin yang. You have to have, it can't be all in order and it can't be all chaos. So you have to have some chaos in the order. And if it's too much order, you get bored. And if it's too much chaos, you burn out. So you always have to like find some way to put some chaos in the order and, and vice versa. I just tried to add one thing more I can do to improve myself in any ways. If, if that's reading or doing something physical or something that helps me or others, I try to do that. But it's like a lot of people, they want to change their lifestyle. So they buy a membership in a gym, they get some diet and like want to work out a lot and then just try to do everything at, at once. So when I was uh, coaching, when people came in like starting their CrossFit career or something, they were going to do everything. I said like, okay, just show up three times a week. When that's a routine, you, you're gonna feel better, so you're gonna eat better. And when you eat better and feel better, you have more energy, then you can do more. You can't go from zero to 100. It's always just one increment. So it's always, what can I do next to improve when I have time? I think the biggest reward for doing this job is it's not something that I've done at work. It's more like I see how things can go badly and I can appreciate more what I have, appreciate my health and my family and where I stand. And with that appreciation, I, I think I'm more able to help other people. So I think uh, in the long run, like in many years, I'll look back on this time of my life as a very good learning experience for just uh, appreciating everything that people usually take for common. I think so. Plus all the skills that you add in this so...